Hi everybody, Levi Clay here, and if you are unfamiliar with me and what I do, I am a professional transcriber. That means I listen to music and I write it down for a living. That's what I've done for my entire career now, uh, which is pushing <laughs> pushing 15 years. Uh, and I love my job. The nature of my job, though, is that I deal with a lot of clients from various backgrounds. Some of them are big music publishers, some of them are magazines, some of them are artists looking to put out transcriptions, and some of them are just guys like yourself watching this video. There's a solo that you love and you just really wanted to learn how to play it. So with that comes a lot of inquiries. I get a lot of inquiries via email all of the time asking about the transcription service that I offer. And one of the questions that keeps coming up over and over again is when I give them a price, why is it so expensive? Don't you have a piece of software that can just do the job for you? And of course, the answer to that is no, there is no piece of software that just does my job. If there was, you don't need me, you just use the software. So today I was sent a website called uh, Clangio, maybe, Guitar 2 Tabs over at Clangio. And we're going to take a look at it today. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. We're going to do some tests in the uh, in the app and see what the results are like. So we can really get a feel on the idea of whether or not artificial intelligence can be used as a substitute for transcription. Now, I must be completely honest with you. I have not looked at the website at all. I've not tested it. So I'm genuinely going to be reacting and seeing how this goes with you guys this could age terribly you know years from now this could be this could put me out of a job uh it may put me out of a job today who really knows let's see what happens um i'm relatively confident that it, that won't be the case um and i will briefly explain why the nature of of transcription is a i don't want to say it's a human thing but when i listen to music i'm hearing a pulse i'm hearing a beat and i'm hearing music in relation to that beat which is a computer, I guess, can do that. But the understanding of the passage of time and the measurement of things in relation to the passage of time requires high levels of um, thought processing. Then when it comes to listening to a piece of music and being able to hear the isolated guitar part, I can hear just what the guitar is doing. And if you have two guitars, bass guitar, keyboards, drums, you know, when a computer hears that, it can only guess, try and work out what it thinks the guitar is doing. Um, but that is using programming rather than experience of really being able to, I know what a guitar is because I play the guitar. I play all of those instruments, so I know what the guitar is doing. Uh, and of course, being able to separate two different guitars, how would you ever train a computer, an artificial intelligence, to know the difference between, oh, that's the first guitar and that's the second guitar? Um, and then, of course, tab is an entirely different beast. Notation, perhaps, but tab requires not just putting in the notes that are being played but where they're being played on the instrument and as we well know the guitar is very tricky in that respect because we have six or more strings so taking a look at the website create guitar tabs from your favorite pieces of music guitar music and artificial intelligence how does it fit together pretty well our ai software transcribes your acoustic guitar recording as an mp3 and automatically generates a tablature for you as a pdf music xml midi or guitar pro 5 file so the first thing that I would observe from this is the fact that it only does it from a Guitar Pro 5 file. Sorry, uh, only creates a Guitar Pro 5 file. Guitar Pro 5 is old, old, old software. We're on Guitar Pro 8 now. So the website isn't even creating files in a in a cutting edge format. <laughs> .gp5s uh, have been superseded by the .gpx in Guitar Pro 6 and then the drop sorry dot gps in guitar pro um seven and eight so i've got a selection of transcriptions that i've already done um and i'm gonna fess up none of them are acoustic in the in the traditional acoustic sense but actually i do have one that i'll go and drag out that's just acoustic um this i think kind of highlights your acoustic guitar recording I think this highlights the problem that you are inevitably going to have. It won't deal with distortion very well. It won't deal with music in a band mix very well. So let me just pull up an acoustic transcription uh, that I've done, and we will test it in the software. So this is my transcription of uh, David Greer's Blackberry Blossom. I'm not playing the music here. As you can see, I have transcribed this, and I've transcribed it accurately. This is just acoustic guitar. So in theory, this is probably the best shot that this software is going to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to copy the YouTube link. I'm going to jump on over to the software. I'm going to put in the YouTube file. Okay, start transcription. 
They want my email. You can have my, I mean, we're in German now, and this is. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, obviously um, about tunings and capos. So I'm I'm not going to lie to it. I can tell you it's standard tuning. There is a capo. There's a capo on two. Uh, <laughs> experimental with strumming. It's not a finger pick. It's played with a pick, but... Um, uh, so we'll we'll push it. It's a fast transcription. Uh, it is in we'll call it four four. Uh, the key. I mean, I I would think of this as being G or D if memory serves correctly. No idea what this means. <laughs> uh, right. So let's start. Let's see what see what it does. I know it's not going to give me um, all of the transcription. It will give me uh, 30 seconds of the audio because it's worth considering while that's doing. If we go over and check the pricing, what they're offering is you can have a free account, uh, $0, transcribe the first 30 seconds of audio and download the score as a PDF. If you use the pro version, seven ninety a month, you get unlimited short transcriptions. I mean, don't know what that means. Up to 50 longer transcriptions per month. Download score as a PDF, export as music, XML, MIDI or Guitar Pro. A retranscribe with different settings so i see well that makes sense with the ai uh, you can cancel at any time um not sure oh, okay so they have um essentially they have other transcription services um with ais that are devoted to you know the relevant um instrument and then there's a 20 dollars a month version which is going to get you access to the other services you can pay for these yearly and you're looking at 80 dollars a year or 200 dollars a year um for access to everything it's still going it is uh it's taking its time taking its time And here it is, the transcription. I'm not sure if there's something trying to load here, maybe a player, because I can see like a player bar here. Uh, but that's, that's you know, absolutely fine. And we don't really need that. I can initially, before I even open my transcription, I can look at this and tell you that this is garbage, right? When we look at this, there seems to be some sort of, it's like a nested tuplet, but notation-wise, this is an absolute mess, uh, an absolute disastrous mess the thing with david greer's the the transcription of david greer is it's all eighth notes it's just straight eighth notes the whole the whole thing is just straight eighth notes so to be coming up with rhythms like this uh is a really really bad sign a really bad sign actually um in fact if i put them up side by side like this and I play David doing his thing. You can see my transcription along the bottom. It's just eighth notes. Now, if we look at the actual, we're not dealing in pictures. We'll just deal in the uh, in the the tab where the notes are being played. So, if we look at what's actually being played here, zero three, moving up a B minor triad. Uh, it kind of got that B minor triad. Five two, yeah, two one zero. Uh, no, this should be a three. Open three one zero. That's not too bad pitch wise uh two zero three two three two zero okay so this isn't too bad this should be a slide you'd want it to pick up that articulation between the two and the four there coming down the arpeggio uh, it's missed the fact there's a b flat pull off there goes down to a, uh, a g not an e oh, it's, it's just missed that out actually um so all in all when i look at this i would honestly say the notes the notes aren't terrible, not terrible, but they're also not accurate. <laughs> um, and I think the thing you have to consider when it comes to transcription is close enough isn't good enough. You know, if you're looking to learn to play something, you want you want to play the thing. You want the thing as as played, as transcribed. Uh, this AI has made this considerably more complicated than it actually needs to be. Um, because as I say, it's just just eighth notes, um, just and it couldn't. It's clearly it, it kind of you know, what I pointed out when I highlighted the concept of understanding where the beat is. It hasn't been able to lock in where beat one is in this, which is something that as a player, even though David Greer is playing uh, unaccompanied here, I still know where one is because I can hear it in the way he's playing. I can perceive that information. So I'm going to load up the website again. I'm going to pick another transcription. So back to the website. 
let's go guitar tabs uh nope let's try that again guitar tabs let's give it a go so let's do it again with what have i got loaded up here yeah let's give it something a little bit more challenging so because <laughs> uh, that seems reasonable here's the jarius mosey transcription that i did it doesn't work like that the website's definitely a little bit gammy um let's do this start transcription same idea evidently it isn't testing for my email address maybe it is uh put my email in i assume this is agreeing to something i might be agreeing to sell my soul at this point <laughs> Uh, so this is neither finger picking nor strumming. Uh, I'm not sure what this means. Tempo is all over the place. Um, there's no capo. Guitar is in standard tuning, and uh, key shouldn't matter because the AI should just be able to discern pitch. So again, I'm just going to let this do this at full speed, and here we have it the transcription so again if we look at the uh jarius mosey transcription on screen this is beyond unacceptably bad this is completely unusable um it clearly can detect what a chord is because we do here we have two notes being played uh but if i look at my transcription and try and discern where that information is. Okay, here we've got the ba da da da. This, should, of course, should be a chord. It can't pick that up. Ba da ba. It's got the string wrong for that. It's picked up the fact that there's a bit of a chord here, but it hasn't been able to discern what it is. Pentatonic run one three six. But yeah, like this is. Is it playable? Maybe. This certainly isn't. You wouldn't. You know. You wouldn't be able to play it like that. And this. This for me is always going to be the problem with AI an AI doesn't know how somebody played something. They might be able to discern what the pitches are, but being able to actually find what they played is another thing entirely. So uh, I'd have to give that one a failing grade. Unfortunately, it's not going to replace the original. You know, <laughs> It's not going to not put me out of a job anytime soon. Uh, if I go back to the website, there was something else. So this is what they used to advertise the service. Now, when I look at this, this is the original audio. And if I read this transcription along with it, And this is already a very disingenuous uh, thing to compare because that audio isn't actually a real guitar. That's MIDI. But when I listen to this... Here, there's a turn in the music. And they haven't even been able to pick that up in their transcription, which to me is a big red flag that the thing that they're using to showcase what this software is capable of has been unable to pick that piece of information up. Um, and also the chord symbols are wrong, so not the best. Okay, I'm going to be unfair to it now and give it one more thing to try and do. Let's give it uh, Let's give it this Brett Garcet transcription. I like this because Brett's playing is very in time, so he's, uh, he's a good one for this sort of thing. Um, let's... Again, I shouldn't really have to tell it all of this. <laughs> Artificial intelligence should be able to pick this out, so I'm not going to. And I think uh, that's reasonably fair, because if you are not good enough to be able to do the transcription on yourself, you're probably not good enough to be able to discern things like, what key is this in? Is there a capo on a certain uh, fret? What's the tuning of the guitar? What tempo is it played at? If For uh, AI to be really reliable, this stuff has to be good enough that you don't need to be able to uh, know that stuff or else you'll just do the transcription yourself. Anyway, so let's see this happen in real time. I was going to say um, that this takes quite a long time, maybe an unreasonable amount of time. I think that would be unfair. It's still obviously a lot faster than me doing a, an actual transcription of something like this. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's not giving you the results that you need, is it? <laughs> would be my best way of putting it. Um, yeah, the thing with this Brett Garcet transcription in particular, if I move it over here, oh, we definitely won't do Bumblefoot, that's definitely a bit unfair. I think this Brett Garcet transcription is it's a minute and 24 seconds. So if I was going to transcribe this for somebody, it's probably going to run them about $30. So that's the price of a monthly transcription. It was more than the price of a monthly transcription. But what you're going to get in return for that is something blisteringly accurate. Like, 
it will be indistinguishable from the original recording. And if that's something that you put value on, then my transcription service is probably more appealing. So speed this up. Okay, so again, let's take a look at the uh, the notation. So I think the nature of something like this is that it would be impossible for the um, for the software to discern uh, so to to, to um, write in a bar that would be either incomplete or have too many notes in it. You know, the software knows that you can't have more than 16 sixteenth notes in a bar. Um, so because of that, it's fine. But I think, again, if we look at this, you just know that this can't be played. <laughs> and the thing with this solo from, from Brett, if memory serves me correctly, there's no chords in any of it. No, there's no chords in any of it. Um, these would just be examples of where he's playing quite quickly, and the software is is quantizing and condensing that information, saying, oh, this thing was played really, really quickly. Maybe it's just one chord being strummed. And obviously that's that's incorrect. So again, this transcription would be absolutely useless. So um, what can I say about this software or this AI? Um, same thing I've always said about AI for transcription. I didn't prepare this. You know, I didn't set this up to fail. I started with the David Greer to try and give it the best uh, the best chance that I think it could have uh, but it was still unacceptable if you printed that in a magazine or, or in a book you'd be laughed out of the industry you couldn't use it in academia it would just be no good to you so as it stands this software this AI is just no good to anybody um, and I think you should consider very carefully before you give people like that money um, because you're you're essentially paying for for AI and software development rather than actually paying for the thing that you're getting back. They may potentially use your money to improve the AI, but do you want to pay to be a guinea pig is the question I would have to ask you. If you want transcriptions, come to the professionals. Um, and if you want bad transcriptions... <laughs> Go and check these guys out. As usual, I want to say a huge thank you to my wonderful supporters over on Patreon. These people come to me to learn how to transcribe. A lot of these guys, they want to learn how to transcribe, and that's a skill that I've been teaching them. Uh, and some of these guys, I see names on there, who are working as transcribers now, so it can be done. Don't worry, guys. You're not going to be put out of business by an AI uh, piece of software anytime soon so thank you for your kindness and support join us over on patreon get access to my weekly guided practice routines weekly guided ear training sessions and my private facebook and discord servers or you can check out one of my books available on amazon thanks so much for checking this video out guys what do you think have you checked this software out leave it in the comments below and i will see you for another video soon goodbye <laughs>